So what's the point of this exhibition? I'm asking, where do we live? Do we live in our minds? Do we live in our bodies? Do we live in our buildings? And I'm doing that inside and out of this extraordinary place, the Middleheim Museum. The porosity of this house and the way in which these surrogate bodies have either found or not found shelter within it, I think raises in a way the, the, the bigger issue, which is, you know, what, or what is the human project's position in the scheme of things. The, the form of this and the form of the one on the roof is the same form. They're called cumulate. The, these are all derived from, from molds of me. It's like this moment of retreat within or a self-collecting uh, moment. And here there is no narrative and the, the, you could say that the, there's certainly no representation uh, in a portraiture way. The, the idea of the whole show is just to ask you know, this question of where does the human body fit in the dialogue between matter and space. This is the same form but now described as a space frame. And whereas this was connected to the earth and fixed to the earth, this we see against the sky. That you can touch, this we can only see. And that relation between the palpable, the perceivable and the imaginable is something that runs through all of the, all of the work. It uses the same geometry that we can see throughout the exhibition and is also true of Firmament, uh, Firmament 3. You could say, where else do we find that? Well, we find it in the basis of all the matrices of matter. And the hexagonal carbon matrix that is the basis of life. But I want to apply this geometry to the body in order to see perhaps what feeling comes out, what emotional response when we see a human form that is described in the language of a pure mineral or a crystal or a bubble. I think of this as being a landscape once you put something flat, it's a landscape and it will continue to oxidize and um, we just accept that. It's, it's another one. You have to think of this as a human fossil or a body at rest. It's like a child at the breast of the mother or on the chest of the mother listening to the heartbeat of the bigger body. Maybe that's too romantic for you, but, but anyway. It was important to me that there was one work that, in a way, was, was in motion, was, was, was uh, somehow reacting to the changing conditions. But there are others that, in, in a sense, talk about something else, which is, yes, our need for shelter and our, in a way, uh, dependencies on the structures around us. Unfortunately, we are all very familiar with this position. This is the position of the homeless, the, the, the sans-abri, the, the human body that has no place and tries to find shelter in what is available in the... And you could say this, this the piece in the corner does the same. I don't... I hope these are not sentimental. This is just in relation to this green, hard metal structure, a way of thinking about, in a way, human, hu human need. Here we have a fetal figure. This is an adult body in the position of a baby in the womb, in uterine uh, position, but it's made of iron. Everything is made of iron. It's the material you find at the core of this planet that gives the planet its density and keeps us on our orbit in space. 
And then uh, this, this, this work, what, what I was excited about was the, the, the idea that here, here is a, a, a body, but it's made out of cells, massive cells that are kind of stacked. So that idea of, in a sense, the vulnerability of a body then, then translated into the vulnerability of an object. And the exhibition is not all that I would like to thank you for. There's also the new, there's also the new um, uh, piece which we welcome in the museum Firmament 3. Dames en heren, Firmament 3 werd in 2009 gecreëerd en bestaat uit maar liefst 4734 roestvrije stalen staafelementen en heel wat ronde draagpunten. 7 meter diep, 11 meter lang en 4 meter hoog. You could say this is a materialization of the air. The air is not nothing. It's nitrogen, helium, oxygen in this extraordinary uh, dynamic mixture. This was, you know, one of my many homeless works. Um, and I never imagined that it would find a home because it's a tricky work. But I never imagined it would find a home uh, so appropriate. So to, 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 to have this memory, I mean, so far as I'm concerned, this is a memory of the space of the main gallery of the Hufkens um, cast in what we were talking about earlier, the, the bubble matrix. You have the atomium already. This is a small kind of modest version of the atomium. But actually, the, you know, the whole, the whole uh, idea of it, this is, this is the entrance of the passage through. This is going through. There's, there's the heel, the lower leg, the knees. And this is a cave uh, in the void of a space that is a 10 times life-size body void. I think of Firmament 3 as, as uh, yeah my attempt to make palpable, in other words, make experienceable a complete connection between imagination and space. Maybe I'm asking too much. <laughs>